Hello, this is Damian Alomar with ASG Viz, and this tutorial goes over making car paint and plastic materials. So we have the same scene that we've been working with, and I'm going to grab that sphere there, open up the material editor, and right click on scene materials and add a new V-Ray material. I'm going to rename this one car paint. Car paint. There we go. And so after I name that, I'm going to open up the tree and add a reflection layer. Uh, right click, add new layer. And this is going to be the top coat of our material. And so I'm going to click on M, bring up the Fresnel options, change the gray color to white, and then change the index of refraction to 3. Uh, I'm also going to change the refraction IOR as well. So both of those are 3 click apply and now really important I'm gonna go in here and change the filter color um, normally this is white but I'm gonna change this to uh, uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a red there uh, this is gonna give our reflections a little bit of tone which is what we need so I'm gonna open up the tree again right click and add another reflection layer this is gonna be the base coat for our uh, for our material and it's gonna be under the first one the first layer so I actually don't want Fresnel uh, options on this uh, layer, so I'm just going to click None and Apply. So our white color for the reflection is, uh, is valid. And I'm going to open up the filter again and have a deep, deeper color and change the top coat so it's a little lighter. Now the really important thing with the base coat is that I change the highlight and the reflection glossiness to 0.5. Um, this is going to prevent our material from looking just like pure reflections. Uh, and our diffuse layer actually doesn't really even matter. So if we look at our preview, you can see we've got those reflections from the top layer, but the, uh, the, the glossiness and the deep colors from the layer below that. So I'm going to go and apply that to that material, the uh, that object. Right click, apply to objects. And I'm also going to go back and make a new material. Jump there. Um, this is going to be our plastic material. And rename that plastic. And I'm going to go in and add a reflection layer again. And this time, I'm going to keep the Fresnel, Fresnel settings, uh, change the color to white, and change the index of refraction as well uh, to 2.5, and the refract IOR to 2.5 as well. It's generally a good idea to keep those matching. And click Apply. And now I'm going to put the highlight and the reflection glossiness both at uh, 0.75. So this is going to give our material a little bit of glossiness and change the diffuse color um, to a kind of green here. Click OK. And check our preview. And that'll work for us. So I have an, uh, a sphere already selected in the scene so I'm going to right click again and go to apply to materials. And now let's render. So here we can see our light cache calculating in a way, and now radiance mapping. And so, notice that the car paint takes a little bit longer, but we have quite a lot of depth in the car paint reflections, and our plastic reflections are nice and blurry.